Sometime when he's ready, he'll hit the fans there. Pull the rest of the junk out of this thing. All right, you running to town. Gonna grab some parts. Missing some foam insert thing. Oh, trying to go down to the river. It's a beauty day. Oh, we got the local beach here on the river. Not too shabby. I'm gonna slow down this car. Bump. She's all full. I'm loading her. 56 foot. 400 horse. Not too shabby. Good. Finish some pulling up here. Right. Yeah. Here you go. Maybe further. Boat's going in. Looking good. Looking real nice up here. Real nice. Eight o'clock in the evening, but hey, we're gonna go do a couple of laps around probably one or two laps around the outside on this one field, just a little field. And then we are going to check our depths. We're concerned that the seed placement is going to be too low and we want it to be higher. So, yeah, this will be interesting. Hopefully, we don't have to adjust all of them, otherwise, that's gonna be no fun. That's like 56 rows that we're gonna have to. Go to each one, undo the nut, slide it to the right setting, and then do it again. It'd be nice if there was a quick adjust way, but hey, that is what we have. It's a big unit, it takes up the whole road. I should throw splashes on. Adjusting the depths. Two more 
flakes. There you go. Ooh. Go take a look. <clears throat> hey, we got lots of room. Let's get your stairs, man. <laughs> Stay away to heaven. Slow it down. Slow it down. Well, I fell there nice and full. Sheesh. Right to the top. Maximum. Oh, Got to make sure there's a tight seal on those guys so that uh, the air pressure can't leak out the top. That way it sends all the air pressure to the drill itself. Oh, yeah. So we got some hydro lines, or air lines, not hydro lines, air lines rubbing on the wheels. Definitely some mud build up, but nothing too obscene. <clears throat> it's gonna drop her down. Just like that, so we're rubbing on this wheel here. How do we stop that? Oh yeah, there's a hole. Yeah, but how do we stop that from rubbing? Well, this is the problem I'm having in my mind here. How the heck? Like, what do we secure this to? How do you stop that? It would, it's got to so, be the way these are rooted and then freaking zip ties. Well, can I can I move this? <clears throat> can we move the block ahead and keep them on the block and have over the tire this way? Yeah, something. Thinking, but I got we got problems. I think what happened is that block has moved over time. Maybe. Maybe. Slide it forwards. Oh, you sucker. Oh, 
Oh, that's it's got two zip ties on yeah. it. Alrighty, already, already, already. So, I just did a walk around. I checked. I had a couple plugged runs. This guy, you know, it's a big pile. We had to just sprinkle. That one was plugged. I had a plugged run over there in the sensor, and I got a load pivot tire. These are supposed to be 36 psi, according to the ridden on here. But went over there, I can put my heel halfway through it. So, gonna go over to the shop, get the portable air compressor. So much fun. Cart is full of furt and about half full of seed. It's enough to do, I don't know, 80 acres or something. But we go get the air compressor first. A little windy. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and the day after, so I'll try to get. I don't know if we'll finish this field, it's 200 and some acres, 220, 200, 220. Probably won't finish this today, but we're gonna try and get the top lands done at least. So that is where we're at. I'm here on the neighbor's farm, running drill with Johnny V, having a great time learning. Never ran an air drill before. I spent about three hours learning last night, one and a half riding shotgun, and then I was running for about an hour and a half. So, first time for everything, woohoo. So, got an air compressor. Let's go hook her up. Pump it up, pump it up. That's the office today. Different than being in an auto shop. I'll still be there a couple days this week when it's raining. Hey, here's my flat tire. So this should not do that much bounce. I should barely be able to touch it, but I can fold it. So. Let's hook it up. Doesn't feel like it's leaking through the valve stem, so that's a good sign. Not sure it's losing pressure though. Interesting. Turn it on. It seriously got zero PSI in here? I need 36. Let that run for a bit. Fresh dirt, love it. As a kid, I just, I just smell dirt. It's good like this. I love that smell. I just love that smell. Okay, where, 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 where? There it is. Some seed. There it is. How's that depth then? Right there. Three quarters of an inch. Yeah, about that eight. One shallower. One. You think it's too deep? Just one. One shallower. Alrighty. Oh, let me call uh, tilt, like the tilt of it. Soft. It's pretty nice. Oh. It's not clay, it's not garbage. Gonna move a stick.
Chuck. but now it's back to mapping, so should be good, should be good. Right now I'm just using this little hose clamp on the exhaust there as my rough approximate place where I need to be and then everything lines up okay. So yeah, not too bad. It's gonna be going until about midnight, which is about six o'clock now, so six more hours to go. Should just about kill this field, hopefully. But once I get on the main lines, Finish all the headlands here. I should have to go back up to the top of this field. We're down actually by a river. The Reba. So this is sand in here actually. It's nasty. The river pushes the sand right up on the bank. And I bet it's pretty loud on there. Hopefully it's not too bad. But welcome to Seating with Johnny B. This is Bought My Drill. I am working for my neighbor. His equipment. So, not too shabby. He's riding in an old tractor. All the old tractors are cool, they just don't ride very nice. But, this is, uh, is multitasking here. This is, oh yeah, line that up really nicely. But, we left uh, uh, some strips of old crop here in the field for the hunting season and brought in lots of moose. Very handy. But, it actually doesn't seem too bad going directly into it, aside from that those did not get anhydrous in them. And the little, little rolls in the ground. But we just topped off the seat, although I didn't fill, didn't fill the back tank completely full and the grain truck could only handle so much weight. Just a little truck. So, they're gonna come and top me off in about an hour, so I will run out of fruit at that point. And we'll top everything off. I should be good to go. I'll be on the back and forth just filling in the filling in the field from the top down over there. It will be good. I'm cruising at about four mile an hour, four and a half, sorry, four point nine. Put down some heavy rates. It's good. It's all good. Got a homemade sandwich, look at this thing. Oh yeah, thanks mom. <laughs> Super delish. We got ham, cheese, lactose free cheese of course. And we got some cucumbers, all oh, the goodness. We got probably some Miracle Whip mayo, salt and pepper. Mm, so good. Just gonna make sure I hit my lines. Looking good, looking good. But the challenges of this view, I don't know if you can see, but that's a big slope. And having my cart, so the front bin, 200 bushel hop around this cart is full of wheat, which is pretty heavy. And the uh, second fur, second bin, which is furred, is about half full. And then the back hopper, the back container, whatever you want to call it, is like two thirds full, roughly, maybe closer to half full. So heavy it's definitely making this 400 horsepower tractor work but you're gonna probably gear down I mean you're running seventh right now so I'll probably gear down to five or four for the hill once we get there and I might do a lap we got a power pull out here I'll probably do a lap around this power pull because I won't be back down here until it's dark probably like nine o'clock ten o'clock down here once it gets dark and I'll do the upper lands up there first so, yeah, I'm gonna do a lap around this power pole. Really good. Need all my focus though, so I can't talk to you guys. Oh well. Y'all won't hate me, I'm sure. Alrighty, we gotta fill this bad boy. Pull the pin. Tank. It's 
can start to drive with one hand. Gotta empty that out because that's gonna be fruit. Nice and full. Almost took the rest of the truck. Over center latch, very handy. Stairway to heaven, very sketchy. Hello there. Like a glove. Oh yeah, they do flash. Very nice. There you go, fully loaded. Bands are spinning. Back to it. Oh, what's he doing over there? Gotta lower that thing, sir. One fun thing about doing this is the hills don't look that bad. They're just little rolly hills. But with a full cart back there, wow. I even had a code for high EGTs because it was pulling hard. It was max bulging. So these things have a bulge. So you can see this uh, little power meter here. It will go above that to the extra power that they can offer for a short time. But uh, apparently I sat it in a little too long and all of a sudden I had flashing lights up here. Oh my gosh, it's gonna blow up, you know. But nope, we're good people. Just downshift a couple times. I lowered the RPMs and within a minute it cleared up. So not too bad. But hey, this is a comfy tractor. So my rates, let's take a look at my rates here, everybody. So what do we got going? Oh, okay, so front tank we are doing 150 pounds to the acre. Middle tank, we're doing 80 pounds, that's my fur. So I got seed, fur, seed, fur, fur in the middle tank, seed in the front and back tanks. So I'm metering out my front tank first, getting 180 pounds out of my seed. And then once that one runs out, then I'm gonna move to my back tank. Because the mapping seems to only go off in the back tank. For whatever reason, I don't know why, it just does. My, uh, let's see, my measurements here, it's saying I'm doing 31.3 acres an hour. That's pretty good. So, this being a 205 acre field, well, that's about a six hour, seven hour job. Cruise until about midnight or so. It is 8.30, so I've got three and a half hours left. So if I go three and a half hours, that gives me, you know, 90, plus a half, 50, so 105. That would be about half the field. Sadly, my outside ramps did not track properly on this because of the mapping being weird. So I don't actually know my percentage of field being done, but hey, we're learning. This is the first, first full day on the seed drill for me out here with the big air card. Yeah. Turn's coming up. Cool. I'm gonna let you go for a second. I need two hands to do this thing. Two, three. There, good volume. That way, I can engineer myself. It's not too bad. Oh man, this is a sweet rig though. Like, I've never spent a whole lot of time in the new stuff with John Deere. Only older stuff or really old tractors. So, the visibility is not too shabby. This is a 2014 9R410. Deleted exhaust, reburn. Yeah, like, having the screens down low. I have all the visibility on the side here that I need around the front. It's got a big nose, but hey, no complaints. Um, yeah, although the pillars are pretty much in line with my front wheels, just about. If this was any wider, it would be annoying, but hey, we got it. Yeah, just been chewing away, listening to music, you know, listening to some tunes, chat on the phone with some buddies, what else are you doing here? This thing almost runs itself. Like I can see now why all the new stuff you think I'm going to autonomy because these things literally can drive yourself, they just need a supervisor. It's kind of crazy that they're gonna do that. 
but also hired help is expensive. And it's, you can cut it out with cut out less hired hands and just pay a little more for tech. Less problems, hopefully. I don't know. It's so definitely more fun being the person running it, though. But I do like this auto steer. I don't mind doing the turns at the ends. It definitely takes away the exhaustion of it. Like, especially if I had to run this, if I had to eyeball this, like keeping my lines eyeballed at every pass, like I do on the headlands, man, that would be really tiring. But, yeah, this is pretty nice. No complaints. We're gonna keep going here for a little bit. So, yeah. Crank the tunes, have a good time. And do it again tomorrow, I think, after work. After working a normal job. Oh well, that's what you got these days. Get what you can do and do what you can. Perfect. Now for the spurt. Sunset in the background. Check it out. Oh, he made a mess. Spilled grain. Oh, even bigger mess. Ryan, what are you doing there? Extra seed on the ground. Birds get her. I gotta clean this out because we're gonna finish off the fert. There's just a tiny bit left in the truck. I uh, can't see it. It's up over there. 